This country is home to the Aldabra Atoll, the world's second largest coral atoll. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today, we're exploring the archipelago of Seychelles, a stunning paradise nestled in the Indian Ocean. Known for its pristine beaches, vibrant coral reefs, and lush landscapes, Seychelles is an enchanting destination that captivates the hearts of all who visit. Stay tuned to learn more about Seychelles' unique natural beauty, geography, history, and culture. The Seychelles is an archipelago of 115 islands in the Indian Ocean, located off the east coast of Africa. The islands are spread out over an exclusive economic zone of approximately 1.3 million square kilometers or 500,000 square miles, making Seychelles one of the world's smallest countries in terms of land area. However, the country that has an extensive maritime territory, the capital and largest city is Victoria, located on the main island of Mahé. The geography of Seychelles is unique and diverse, characterized by granite islands surrounded by coral reefs and white sand beaches. Let's take a closer look at the major geographical features of Seychelles. The islands of Seychelles can be divided into two types based on geology, the granitic islands and the coralline islands. The granitic islands make up the largest landmasses and include Mahé, Praslin, Ladigue, Silhouette and Fregate. These islands have rugged interiors with tropical forests, valleys, and mountain peaks. The highest point in Seychelles is Morne Seychellois at 905 meters or 2,969 feet above sea level on Mehe. The coralline islands are flat with sandy beaches and are located further from the main islands. All the islands have a tropical climate with warm temperatures year round Due to its geographic location, Seychelles is surrounded by several important bodies of water. To the east lies the Mascarene Plateau, with depths from 6,561 to 13,123 feet. The Aldebra Group, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, lies to the west of Mahé. The Amirante Islands and African Banks sit on the southwest plateau. The waters surrounding Seychelles support diverse marine ecosystems and coral reefs. The archipelago sits in the Indian Ocean area with the warmest seas and stable temperatures, allowing reef ecosystems to thrive. The inner islands are fringed by reefs broken by deep channels, while the outer coral islands have submerged atoll rims. Marine protected areas cover over 400,000 hectares to conserve marine biodiversity. Aldabra Atoll was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its unique ecology and vast seabird colonies. Other unique marine species found in Seychelles include dugongs, whale sharks, sea turtles and quelacanths. The Seychellois people reflect a fascinating fusion of different ethnicities religions and languages. This diverse demographic profile is largely due to the country's strategic location along historic maritime trade routes. The current population of Seychelles is around 98,000 people. Around 90% of Seychellois are of mixed ethnicity with origins from Africa, Europe and Asia. The main ethnic groups are the Creole making up 60% of the population, the Indian descendants accounting for 25%, the Chinese immigrants from southern China at 3%, and the European French colonists and British loyalists making up 1-2%. to Interracial marriages have resulted in a blended Creole culture. The predominant religion of Seychelles is Christianity, practiced by over 90% of the population, with Roman Catholicism being most prevalent. Hinduism was brought by Indian settlers and around 2.4% of the population. Other religious groups include Anglican and Protestant denominations, Islam and Baha'i. The official languages are Seychellois Creole, spoken by around 95% of the population, 
and based on French with African and Asian influences. English, the official language used in government and business, spoken by around 60 to 70 percent, and French, used by 5 to 10 percent. The cuisine of Seychelles is just as unique and diverse as its culture. It's a melting pot of flavors from Europe, Africa, India, and China. Local island ingredients combined with influences from its varied history have created distinctive Creole dishes you won't find anywhere else. Let's take a quick look at a few signature Seychellois foods. A classic Creole dish, Bouillon Blan features fish boiled in a broth with ginger, thyme, garlic and lime. The hearty soup is topped with freshly chopped parsley and pepper. This meal will fill you up and provide a taste of authentic Seychelles. Seychellois love their salted fish, known locally as Bokit Enzil. It often comes with a spicy mango or tamarind chutney loaded with tropical flavors. The chutney beautifully balances the saltiness of the fish. Just a spoonful will awaken your taste buds. For something more elaborate, try Kari Coco Bread Murum. This curry combines salted fish, coconut milk, chili, turmeric, moringa leaves, and breadfruit. It's cooked in a heavy pot over an open fire. The unique blend of spices and textures is an absolute delight. With bananas and coconuts growing abundantly, locals use them in decadent desserts like this nougat. It's made by boiling ripe bananas with freshly grated coconut and ginger. Once cooled, jams and spices are added to create layers of sweetness. It's a perfect way to end a Seychellois meal. The Seychelles were uninhabited until the late 15th century, when Portuguese explorers first encountered the islands. In 1502, Vasco da Gama came across the granitic islands en route to India. The islands later appeared on Portuguese charts as the Seven Sisters. France began to take interest in the area in 1638, when a French governor was stationed on the island of Rodriguez. Few lived on the islands permanently during this time. France officially claimed possession of the Seychelles in 1756. The islands were initially dependencies of Mauritius, another French colony. In 1768, the first permanent inhabitants arrived. French planters and their slaves from Mauritius and slaves from Africa and Madagascar. This began the establishment of spice and sugar cane plantations. Seychelles later became a separate colony from Mauritius in 1903. Britain gained control of the Seychelles in 1794. This resulted from France ceding the islands during the French Revolutionary Wars. The British allowed the colonists to retain their property and slaves. Seychelles remained a British colony for roughly 160 years, except for a brief period under French administration from 1794 to 1811. During this time, Indian and Chinese laborers were brought to the islands. Seychelles was gradually modernized under British rule. Seychelles gained independence from Britain on June 29, 1976, after nearly two centuries of colonial rule. A coalition government was formed, and Sir James Mansham became the first president until a coup in 1977 installed France Albert René as the new president. Seychelles became a republic in 1979. Democratic reforms in the early 1990s ended the one-party state system. Today, Seychelles is a sovereign democracy that maintains close ties with both Britain and France. Situated in the Indian Ocean, the Seychelles economy has undergone an impressive transformation over the years. Fishing, farming and other primary industries dominated the early economy. But today, Tourism and services drive this modern island nation forward. Long ago, the ancient Seychelles Islands remained uninhabited, with only the diverse tropical wildlife calling it home. Undeveloped and isolated for centuries, 
these granite and coral lands held opportunities for the taking. Eventually, explorers and colonists arrived by boat, claimed the islands and tapped into their bountiful natural resources. They built spice plantations using the sweat of slaves and indentured workers. Sugar, coconuts, bananas, the fertile soil produced them all in abundance. The Seychelles exported these cash crops and earned their keep through fishing and farming. However, the tiny population remained dependent on Mauritius and colonial administrators. Self-sufficiency proved challenging on these isolated tropical islands in the vast Indian Ocean. In time, though, the Seychelles stepped out of the shadows of its colonial past. After independence in 1976, the island nation took its future into its own hands. Political turmoil gave way to stability, while free market policies attracted foreign investment. With flawless beaches, crystalline waters and exotic island allure, the Seychelles soon emerged as an exclusive holiday destination. Tourism rapidly became the mainstay of the economy. Visitors flock to the islands today, attracted by tropical luxury resorts and idyllic natural wonders. No longer reliant on agriculture, Seychelles now runs on tourism earnings and modern services. With GDP per capita exceeding $27,000, Seychelles enjoys one of the highest standards of living in Africa. Connectivity and infrastructure have been strengthened. The economy even weathered external shocks like the 2008 financial crisis. While still developing, Seychelles continues to build a thriving modern economy. Opportunities abound in tourism, fishing, information technology and offshore banking. The future remains bright for these islands, marching to an economic tune that echoes progress. Seychelles has come a long way from its subsistence farming days. Through embracing tourism and globalization, these isolated islands now provide a living standard that is the envy of greater nations. Seychelles' economic success reveals how even remote tropical islands can forge prosperity. If you enjoyed this video on Seychelles, you'll love this next one.